Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Pauline back to Legacy of Discord. I hope you're all doing good. So today I'll be answering some of your questions, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have in mind. And the first one that we have here is from Williams. He is asking, hey, could you show how to lose BR without losing power? He means, can you lower your BR without losing your strength or power in pub battle and first off i have seen a lot of players out there who don't have their runes equipped because we are trying to avoid some br from that but it's a big mistake because if you don't have your runes equipped then you are losing a lot of bonuses here like the all damage dealt with the skills is increased by eight percent chance of critical strike of skills are increased by eight percent damage of skill critical strike is increased by 16 percent so don't remove your wounds always use those and next I have seen a lot of players out there who don't have their armaments equipped. I know there are players in some videos out there which tells you don't equip your armaments and avoid everything here like the attack element resistance they tell you avoid everything and that is fake but let me tell you is not fake everything here helps you with the armors if you guys can see the only thing which i don't hear on my armors are the hp and i don't have basic attack on me everything i'm using here is elementor or resistance or maybe some Physical defense, magical defense. That is what I'm using here for my armaments. I don't go for the HP. I only go for the magic defense, lightning resistance, a lot of element damage because it's really, really strong. And everything here you guys can see, I'm like frost resistance here, lightning resistance there, elemental, elemental again, some more lightning resistance, frost, fire, and some more frost and some fire there. And that is what I've been doing with the arguments here. I don't use the basic attack here, but I do go for the elemental attack, which is really, really strong. And I know some players out there who don't have their armors equipped because they try to keep their BR down. The only thing I would suggest to remove here is HP and go with the elemental uh, magical defense physical defense lightning resistance force resistance and fire resistance and that is everything you need to focus on and if you can get your armaments to level 7 there then you can get some extra damage there as well and the attack is not bad either the only bad thing which is in game mostly is the hp which gives you a lot of br but everything else makes a difference in game so i won't suggest you guys removing your armaments or ruins to keep the BR down and that is just my opinion but there are still some players who believe that these are fake BR but I won't say that these are fake BR at all because at the end of the day your rare attributes are amplifying your basic stats in game if you don't have any basic stats your rares will not do anything else but anyways next question so Corin is asking, is it recommended to send red packs before reforging the attributes of emblems? And this one is an interesting question here because we have a lot of legends and myths about the emblems, their reforging time and the stuff like this where some places that you should send the red Backs here before you do the reforging on the emblems and that it does increase your chances for triggering better emblems and that is just a myth a lot of top players says that it does not matter it's all about luck but still some says that it works so you can go and do that if you want to feel a bit secure for yourself you can go and send the red packs and you can do the reforging when everyone is asleep around 1 a.m 
your server time and maybe you will get lucky and trigger those good emblems but at the end of the day it's all made not confirmed by the developers or any source that we can say that is 100% true but anyways next question that we have here is Mark is asking will there be a free purchase during the monster pit and the answer is no sadly we won't see any free purchase during the monster pit event that we have currently in game we will only see two free purchases during the anniversary event and that is everything we are going to get this month so sadly no free purchase during the monster pit here this time around and the last question that we have here is about the diamonds how to get many diamonds any tips so for this i do have a complete ultimate guide for the diamonds but in short i can tell you guys that it's really important that you do the mining on time use the gold pass or the platinum pass for your mining for the diamonds and do it manually because if you use the gold pass or the platinum pass it, it will give you more diamonds and it will take less time for the mining and that way you can get a lot of diamonds you should always try and grab superior or supreme bounties from the bounty tab here you can use your dummies account to send out those Supreme or superior bounties dailies if you have any dummies you should at least try and get the flush here from the cars dailies that will give you about over 100 dummies easily daily don't miss out on the fees two times a day and then there is a red pack here daily as well and then and make sure you don't hit the stamina cap and go to the chapter 1 and do maybe stage 1, stage 2, stage 5 or stage 6. Whichever gives you more diamonds for bliss here. That is what I would recommend. And make sure that you do all 3 plunders a day and don't be afk because each chest that you open in plunder has some chance of giving you 12 diamonds when you open it so don't be afk and do the plunders daily 3x at least and if you have a dead server then try to farm all the plunders for yourselves starting with 500 and then moving down to 1000 no limits and friendly and that way you can farm more than 1500 diamonds for yourself just from looting the plunders you will have to loot 12 plunders a day and that we will get a lot of diamonds and then at the end we have the daily quest here which will give you about 750 diamonds daily so at the end you can get more than 2000 diamonds easily daily doesn't matter what your rank is you should be making more than 2000 diamonds easily if you are active and doing everything which i just showed here and that is everything guys i'm signing off now i hope this video was entertaining and helpful if you guys still have any more questions you can ask me in the comment section down below and i will do my best to answer as quick as possible so i'm off now guys and you guys take care good night